Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, locomotive review. Uh, haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, this is my latest uh, purchase. Um, bought this uh, only a couple of days ago. Um, and I have been meaning to get around to doing some more locomotive reviews. So I thought maybe this is one of the best ways to start off with those locomotive reviews again. So, uh, in case you're wondering, hands are completely free today. Um, I did get a tripod as well. Um, not a permanent one, probably just a temporary cheap one to do for these sort of videos, you know. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get through this in one take, and uh, yeah, let's get on with the review. So today we have, um, a, well, let's see here, it is a four, Hornby 440 LMS compound with a Fowler tender. Now, I don't really know much on this class of locomotive. Um, all I know is this, I'm pretty sure that is not the original tender judging by the name on the side being a Fowler tender. Um, so yes, um, it was priced at 70, 74.99 or £75 if you want to be rounding it up, um, but he did bring it down to £74 for me, so that was, that was that's definitely better than, you know, paying full price for it, you know, if every penny counts as the saying goes. Um, but yes, so, she's DCC ready, and she is one of Hornby's railroad ranges, it's more of the um, I don't want to say cheap range, because, well, let's be honest, £74 isn't exactly cheap. It's more of a, like, a budget quality range, but, you know, full quality, but not as detailed as, you know, their higher range stuff, um, like, uh, my class 31, etc. I'm just trying to get that back in the shot there for you. And, uh, yes, so, as obviously, being the, you know, real road range, there won't be any info on the locomotive. Um, on the back of the box, um, and it is just Hornby's basic, basic cardboard box with a plastic window and a polystyrene insert. So, let's see here. Let's get into the box. Let's get into the box here. Bring this back into the shot here. Just get into the box. I do like having both hands free though. It is much better, and I think this is definitely another way to go about it. So, what's this? What have we got? It is harder trying to get to this type of video, but you know. Okay, let's see. I thought it was here and stuff there. But anywho, so same instructions for the 440, which is the wheel arrangement. Uh, I'll get back on that later. 440 Compound, which is what this is, so Compound County Hunt and Schools Class Railroad Locomotives. Now, when they say railroad, they don't mean the American term for railway. Um, it is the brand, it is the, the, the range, the range name is railroad. So yes, operating instructions. Um, I've already read through these ones. Um, so if you want to read any of this, go ahead and pause the video, I'll just quickly flick through. Anyway, you just want to pause, you know, just go ahead. Let's see, yeah, this is going to be harder. Hold on, let's see if we can get this all in here. I'm sure you just can all, with your phone, you just can all pause and do whatever you want there. And obviously the back, the back is the really, really boring stuff. It's just safety notes and television suppression, blah, 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 and spare parts and how to get those. So yes, the instructions now. Back to the locomotive. We'll just clear these out of the way. Okay, so just a wee plastic cover, which did have tape on it, which I did remove. And um, what about was the tape? The tape was here. Uh, it was on the top and on the sides, so obviously to hold this in. Um, R. I'm just noticing it says R three O six three, but some high on the side says this is R3276. That's strange. Well, anyway, what have we got in here? Oh. Probably just brake pipes, because that's what comes with every Hornby Railroad locomotive. Yes, just brake pipes. That's, that's it, really, just brake pipes, as you can see. One for the front of the logo and one for the back of the tender. Okay, let me see here. Let's wrap these back up. Pack the top these nicely inside. Let me just actually I can't do this on camera for this. Because it was a bit of a it was a bit of a fan trying to get it out for the first time. Um so much so that I had to employ a second set of hands. 
Now, I don't particularly want to set this on the carpet. Do you know what I'm going to do? Hold on, bear with this guy's two seconds. I'm going to bring in our trusty box again. Okay, here we go. Which is a bit wobbly, but you know, better than nothing. Okay, so back to the local. As you can see, she is number 1072. Um, I don't have much knowledge on this class of locomotive. Um, I have no idea why they got the filer tenders, etc. But I'm sure someone could point that out in the comments below. However, moving on, let's have a look at the detailing of the locomotive. Now, as far as detailing goes, being a railroad locomotive, detailing is not going to be that great. But, you know, I can already tell that there is some nice detailing there on the LMS black livery. So what have we got? I'll try and keep it on the box here because, yeah, as you can see, it is permanently coupled, um, which is a bit annoying, but she is DCC ready and the chip goes in the tender, so, uh, and the motor's in the loco, so yes. Um, yes, so she has the giant Hornby, uh, I think they're slimline couplers, even though there's nothing slim about them. Or no, sorry, tension lock couplers, that's the name. And yes, um, she doesn't doesn't have sprung buffers, but that's not to be surprising on a railroad locomotive. Her gearing is quite nice uh, on the logo herself, it is quite nice. Um, she does have actual handrails down each side of the logo, running the entire length of the boiler and the firebox. And she does have handrails on the tender as well, don't know how well you're going to see that, but she does have proper handrails here and on the back of the tender. And that box looks like it's about to have an aneurysm, so we're going to just try and maybe, uh, maybe expose the box, maybe that'll give it a wee bit more structural integrity. There we go, that's even better, yes. So yes, that's, um, and she does have a little whistle on top, uh, on, on, on top, on top, sorry. And she does have um, air valves as well, and I would imagine this bit here, this little funny thing here running down into the, underneath of the uh, bodywork is her whistle. Uh, yes, that would be her whistle, I would imagine. So yes, um, this is her. Uh, I'm back to the... Um, let me try and get this back in shot here for you. So back to the 440 arrangement. In case anybody doesn't know what like 440 stands for. Because I mean, you can get different arrangements. So uh, this one, for example, is 440. So you would have four guiding wheels, I think they're called. Um, and then you have four drive wheels on each side and to each side for those and then no wheels behind the driving wheels however you can get like um four four twos which would be the four wheels at the front here the four driving wheels and then two trailing wheels behind the power wheels in the locomotive and you can also get oh six o's so it would be no wheels at the front six driving wheels no wheels at the back you know it would just be the, pop the driving wheels you can also get oh four o's so you know no wheels at the front Four driving wheels, no wheels at the back. You get the you get the gist of it. However, this is not the way diesel locomotives go, but I will get into that in a future video. So yes, as as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty nice locomotive. My first proper steam locomotive um that I own that will properly run um on any model railway that will do. Um but yes, she's very nice. I'm well pleased with her. And I'll be honest, as much as I love diesel. This is a pretty nice little local. I have to be brutally honest, she's a very nice local. All in all, I would have to give this local maybe a... I would love to give it... Mm, maybe give it about a 7, 6 or 7, 7.5 seven out of 10, which is pretty fair uh, for this local. Um, so it is. The only thing down setting in is the giant couplers, no sprung buffers, no cab detail at all. It's just, well, there is cab detail there. It's just not painted. It's just one big moulded plastic piece. But, yes, um, and I will get her on my layout at some point and give her, give her motor a run in. But um, for running of, the vid uh, running of the train, that will be done in a future video. So look forward to that and I will see you all next time leave a comment below tell us what you think of this logo and and uh if you have one yourself if you have different liveries for it or whatever or any questions about it or any info regarding the fact that it has a fowler tender um if anybody could tell me that, that would be fantastic so yes 
for now guys I, uh, that is it and I will see you all in the next one so bye for now